Hi, kinder parents. Uh, my name is Holly Compton, and I am the district math coach for Manhattan Beach for grades TK through sixth grade. And I'm here to help us along with some math while we're all in quarantine. How exciting, right? So um, I know your teachers have had some great stuff going out on KinderTube, and I'm here to kind of add some math stuff to it. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is called a number talk. And in a number talk, we only have mental math strategies going. We really want the kids to develop some flexibility in their thinking um, and in their understanding. So we aren't using any tools as in paper, pencil, blocks, or anything like that. We are just using our minds, although I do see some fingers going into use in um, a number talk too, um, because finger math is really important in, um, in with children and understanding math. So um, the first thing we're gonna do is um, called a uh, start change unknown. Um, so we have three plus what makes five. So the kids are going to be asked to do three plus what number would make five. Now, you probably will see a lot of finger math going on for this because we have five fingers, right? And they know if they start with three fingers up, you have to add two more to make five. So they would probably use their fingers for, for this one. Three plus two makes five. Um, if you have not yet printed out a 100 chart or a 120 chart, this would be a good time to do it. You could just Google 120 chart and click images and you'll find one to print. We use these in class all the time. And so your child is really well versed in how to use a 120 chart. So they might also imagine the 120 chart. They might say, all right, I'm at three and I have to get to five. How many hops does it take to get there? All right, so it would take one hop, two hops. So three plus two makes five. And we do these kinds of routines um, before our kids go into problem solving with story problems so that they, they have some ideas and they're able to build ideas off of each other in class because we think and we talk and um, we learn from one another. Okay, so. That's a number talk, and I'll be doing that with your child later. Um, this portion of the video is really just for parents to kind of help their kid get on through the math. Um, so, you ready to check out the word problem? Let's do it. So, our story today is all about ladybugs because it's springtime, finally. So, we're outside, we're hanging out, and our butterflies, there are ladybugs. Um, my yard is going crazy out there. So. Um, here is the story problem I'm going to work on with your child in a little while. Little while. Um, notice that there are no numbers in there yet. I will fill those in later. You'll see how we do that. All right, so the story is ladybugs. There were, hmm, ladybugs in the garden. Then some more ladybugs flew into the garden. Now there are, hmm, ladybugs. How many ladybugs flew into the garden? So notice, we have some ladybugs to start. We are going to find out what our ending number is, but we don't know that change. The change is how many flew into the garden in the second round, right? So we're doing the same kind of problem like we did earlier, that three plus what number, that's what we're looking for, equals five, and we found out the change was two. Well, in this case, I'm gonna give your kids a set of numbers. Now in class we do this too. So they get number sets and they get to choose the set of numbers that's just right for them. So their just right number set might be two and five. I'll show you how to get through getting the numbers in there. Or it might be six and 10. Or your just right number set might be nine and 15. So your kid, your child, will choose the number set that feels right to them. It's important to let them choose the one that feels right. And then they will fill in. So if I wanna choose two and five, I have to choose that set of numbers together. So these have to stick together. This is the first sticky. So it has to go right here on the first line. Otherwise, the story won't make sense. This is the second sticky, it has to go here on the second line. 
Um, or let's say I was up for a little bit more of a challenge. Can't do this one on your fingers as easily, nine and 15. So maybe I decided I wanna choose nine and 15. It just depends on where your child is and how they are feeling, right? Okay, so I'm gonna pretend like I chose two and five, and I might work through the problem in the same way as what we did in the number talk, or you might actually see your kid grab a piece of paper, that's okay for this time, it's not a number talk right now, grab a piece of paper and you're probably gonna see some ladybugs or some circles get drawn out too. So there were two ladybugs in the garden, you might see them draw two little circles, they may put a bigger circle around it, and then they would go one, two, three, four, five, and I counted on to five. So this is the starting number. This is the number that changed. These are the ones that flew in, and we know the result or the end is five butterflies altogether. So the starting number was two, the change was three, the end we have five altogether. So our answer for this one would be three. All right, so I think we've got this down, parents. So it's time for us to go grab the kids. And I'm gonna do this same lesson, but not for you, for them. All right, so I'll see you in a bit. Go, go get those kids. Hey kids, it's Mrs. Compton. You may have seen me around your school or probably in your classroom working on numbers with you. So today we're here and we're gonna play some games with our numbers. So the first thing we're gonna do is a number talk. And you know in a number talk, we don't get anything to use except for our brains. So no pencils, no paper, no tools. We're just using our brains. All right, so here's my first question. Are you ready? Make sure you're ready. Okay, here you go. Three plus what number makes five? All right, so let's take some time to think. In class, we use our heart signal, so we put our hand on our heart, and we show when we have one way of solving or two ways, so let's take some time. We can even do our heart signal at home. All right, on the count of three, I want you to tell me your answer, ready? One, two, three, tell me. Did you say two? I think you said two. All right, so I'm gonna guess, some of you probably saw my 120 chart up here, and some of you probably thought, hmm, I, if I started at three, I would have two hops to get to five. Am I right? Ooh. So maybe some of you used our 120 chart. One, two hops to get to five. Maybe some of you even saw, ooh, there's a number line up here. Maybe some of you started at three and hopped to five two times. Or maybe some of you even used your fingers. So did anyone go like this and then figure out you had to add two more to get to five? All right, so you were right. The answer is two, three plus two equals five. All right, let's try another one. Are you guys ready? All right. Three plus what equals six? Take some time to think. On the count of three, are you ready? One, two, three, tell me. Ah, I think you said three. Did you say three? Okay, tell me in the comments if you said three. Give me a thumbs up. All right, so I'm going to guess that some of you know your doubles facts. Do you know your doubles facts? 
I'm going to guess that some of you knew three plus three more makes six. So I'm going to guess you knew three plus three more would make six. Okay, so some of you may have solved that way. Some of you may have used the 120 chart. Three plus one, two, three hops would make six. And I'm going to guess that some of you saw this. Three plus two was five. And this six is one more plus one more. So if this answer was two, this answer must be one more than two. So you may have known the answer was three because you knew three plus two was five. So three plus three must make six. All right, are you ready to hear our story today? Our story is kind of fun because I wrote it because of what is happening in my garden. So in my garden, I have tons and tons of space. I have tons and tons of grass and flowers and there's orange and there's pink and there's purple happening right now. I'm looking at it right now. And there are butterflies and ladybugs and caterpillars everywhere. So I was really excited and I thought I would share a story about springtime with you guys. So here is our story today. The story is about ladybugs. So there were, oh, I forgot to say, you have to read it with me. Read it with me, okay? Ladybugs. There were, hmm, ladybugs in the garden. Then some more ladybugs flew into the garden. Now there are Hmm, ladybugs. How many ladybugs flew into the garden? Okay, so right now I want you to tell me something that you know for sure in the story. What do we know for sure? There were hmm, ladybugs in the garden. We're gonna know how many ladybugs are in the garden. Then, some more ladybugs flew into the garden. So we're gonna find out how many ladybugs joined in the garden. Now there are mm, ladybugs. Oh, so we're gonna find out how many ladybugs there are in the end. Okay, so we're gonna find out there were some ladybugs and then some more ladybugs are gonna join. And then we're gonna find out in the end how many ladybugs there are. So we're gonna try to find out how many ladybugs flew into the garden? All right, here are your number choices. So I want you, just like in class at school, to pick your just right number set. So I'm gonna give you some choices. All right, so your just right number set might be two and five, or your just right number set might be six and 10, or your just right number set might be nine and 15. All right, so I want you to think, which number set would you wanna use? Okay, does everyone have their number set picked out? Okay, then I want you to think about which tool might you use? You might use your fingers. You might use some counters. If you have any counters at home, if you don't have these, you can even use toys like Legos or pasta, not the cooked pasta though. Don't use the cooked pasta, use the dry pasta. Um, so go grab some tools, grab a sheet of paper and a pencil and get to work. Now, I'm gonna tell you, your teacher will wanna see what you did. So check with your teacher and see where she wants you to show you or show her your work. So maybe you get to have a special conference with your teacher where you're showing her on the computer what your work is, or maybe you're just taking a picture of it, or maybe your teacher just says, show your parents. So you have to find out from your teacher what to do and then turn it in. All right, are you ready? Off you go. See you later, guys.